Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. When I came to I was just lying there on the training hall floor. By the time I got back to the garden the place had totally changed! The torches were lit and the body was gone. And all of the snow around the stone lantern had been carefully cleaned up, too. Since the person did all that work alone, I just assumed it was a man. That's sexist, that Maya! <laughs> Maya! For once, oh, I am very somebody, mad. Somebody did exercise. It was a guy. <laughs> somebody shoveled the driveway. It was a guy. <laughs> Someone did physical labor. Only a guy could do that. <laughs> Yeah. We are mocking this kind of mentality. We are not in in endorsing it. No. Hmm. So it was after the crime took place that the witness came to think the killer was a man. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I... No need to apologize. It's as Mr. Godot said, you're utterly exhausted. It's only natural that you would be a little confused. Also, if you consider the situation you described, it doesn't seem too much of a stretch to assume the criminal was a man. Um, no, well, he's he's also <laughs> sexist. Wow. He's old. <laughs> Not that that means you're sexist. <laughs> old, but... old people are sexist. sexist. All of them. <laughs> no, but he, he would have come from a different time. And let's assume this is Japanifornia. Mm -hmm. Both countries have kind of that mentality, that, at least back in, yeah, that, okay, back in the day. Back in the day, fair enough. Mr. Wright, proceed with your cross-examination. And even now, a little bit with the females working in Japan. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm like, I feel like in America, it's very, the very no, much. America, like, there's, there's like a weird mix of people who are like, oh yeah, like this is fine. And then there's people like, votes for women, step in time. Like, it's like we on. already have votes for women. <laughs> no, did no, did no. you not know about the women's suffrage movement? <laughs> oh man. Well, I feel like, night. I feel like most people are like, oh yeah, it's great that like women can like work and like, yeah, do, like jobs is. now. It is great. Like there's like a very small amount of people who's like, no, they should still stay in the kitchen and blah blah. blah. And then there's also a lot of people who are like, like women should never ever do that. That would be terrible. Yeah, <laughs> women should work just as much as men. Like, I'm like, eh. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone's too. called I, to different yeah. things. Yeah, I think it's just more like that sort of constant like, right? Raw, raw, raw. Raw, raw, Peter. Raw, raw, <laughs> <Ra> Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> So you lost consciousness when you were in the garden, is that right? Yes, I think. I think it happened when the, the, the victim was stabbed. So then the person that carried you into the inner temple? It could only have been the killer. Aw, how sweet, Godot. That's what I think, too. So the killer carried Maya into the inner temple. This is not a romantic scene, ladies and gents. This is the killer carrying the killer. Maya to safety. <laughs> yeah. Naturally, the killer must have done it, right? Yes, I think so. Otherwise, Pearl would have dragged her in. But why would the killer tamper with the crime scene like that? There must have been something that the killer desperately wanted to hide. I... I don't know. It looks like she doesn't have enough confidence. I think I need to gather some more information before oh, I ask her again. I can kind of get put some of the pieces together. I know Godot was like, you idiot, you didn't protect Mia, you didn't protect Maya, you I had to do that. <laughs> So maybe he was like, well, I protected Maya, I'm gonna protect her some more, and then like locks her in the <laughs> He locks her up. <laughs> locks her in the sacred cat. We, we already know Maya locked herself in the sacred cat. Oh, never mind. Okay, puts her down on the bench. She gets up, locks herself in the sacred cavern, and um... I guess that could kind of make sense, because he'd be like, I will protect you, <laughs> but but I think it's weird that he would just be like, come up with Zam and like, kill her mother. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Fatty Boo's birthday surprise! Surprise! surprise. <laughs> the torches were lit. Maybe he lost it a little. Maybe. Yes, that's how I noticed that the whole ch see the whole scene, the whole scene had changed! I'm going to say it was the killer who lit the torches. I mean, who else could it be? The killer probably lit them since it'd be impossible to do any cover-up work in the dark. However, if that's true, there's one thing that still bothers me. Indeed. Why did the killer go to the effort of moving the body? That's true. It's hard to see how that would be of any advantage to the killer. Maybe, because... The, the only one who would gain anything from that would be... The only person that was at the inner temple. Maya. 
Very well, let me hear some more about the condition of the crime scene. After all the snow around the snow lan- the snow All the snow around the snow, snow lantern had been snowed away. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the killer cleaned up the snow? It did look really odd. The snow was removed in an unnatural looking rectangle shape around the lantern. Yep. There were a lot of shovels around the inner temple, but they're all really heavy. Way too heavy for me to use. Why would they be at Clearly, the all- Clearly, it must have been a man who did that. <laughs> Why would they be at the all-female, like, the all-female acolyte training grounds, then, if Maya's they're too just heavy? weak. Iris is like, yeah. Iris is buff. <laughs> Bikini. <laughs> buff Suki. It's buff. Buff Suki. <laughs> <laughs> From Doki Doki Witcher Club. Oh. Suki, there's, like, a meme where it's like, yeah, buff Suki. That, that Suki was, like, ripped. Oh, <laughs> I did not really see weird. that. It's not actually in the game, it's like I'm a fan. I'm sure, yeah, a fan thing. An odd fellow thought. indeed, this killer. Why on earth would anyone want to take snow away? I was thinking of Avatar Suki. <laughs> Just like, buff Suki! That also works! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one thing I can think of. Didn't you say that a lot of the victim's blood sprayed onto the snow? BLOOD! Yeah. The area I collapsed in be ended up being splattered. In other words, the killer's purpose was to hide the bloody snow. I think that's the most reasonable explanation. Hmm. Perhaps. However, there's something that's bothering me. If the killer just wanted to hide the snow with the blood on it... There was no need to remove that amount. That's true. He could have just scooped up just the snow that was stained with blood. But that would look weird. So does that! But that looks less weird. It looks like there are some myster mysteries behind this issue. But I think this will help explain them! <laughs> Blah, 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 I'm sexist. Alone, I just assumed it was a man! I just assumed. So you're saying that you never saw the killer, right? Oh, Phoenix went in a completely different direction. So you're sexist, huh, Ma? Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but earlier you very clearly stated that you saw a man behind your attacker. Nick, I'm sorry. The killer certainly went through a lot of trouble. Moving yeah. the body by pendulum, manipulating the crime scene. But for what purpose? Why do all that? Maybe Maya knows more than she's letting on. Godot just sits her down and is like, This is why I did all this stuff! We actually have to repress the statement. Naturally, the killer must have done it, right? Yes, I think so. Why would the killer tamper with the crime scene like that? There must have been something that the killer desperately wanted to hide. I... The truth is, when I saw the crime scene, I felt something. You did? Yes. I felt like the killer was hiding the evidence for me. For my sake. W what Hiding it for you? Everyone knew that I was the only one at the Inner Temple that night. Except for apparently Godot. If Miss- if Sister- I almost said Mr. Bikini. If Mr. Bikini- Oh, I want to see fan- No, I actually no, I don't. No, you no, don't. I don't no, want to see don't. fan art of that. No, you really don't. <laughs> if Sister Bikini had come back and looked at the garden- She may have thought that you had done it. No, she definitely would have thought so. And you're saying that that's why the killer cleaned up the crime scene to make it look like nothing had happened? Yes, I'm sure of it. Well, that's certainly an important piece of information. Meanwhile, Godot's just like- I want you to add that to your testimony. It was very quiet. Yes, Your Honor. He's just chugging down his, like, 28,000th cup of He's coffee like, of the day. He's like, this might be my last day to drink coffee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was for my sake that the killer- Okay. Cleaned up everything Killer that clean. Killer clean. He did it for your sake? It's like Mr. Clean, but, like, more deadly. <laughs> killer clean. Killer clean. <laughs> Well, if the body and the blood hadn't been removed, I would have immediately been the prime suspect, right? Yes, I suppose that's true. Yeah, and if that happened, the body would have caused some other problems, too. If her real identity had come out then, it would have been terrible. Master of Crane killed by own daughter. I don't think Maya would have been able to handle it. Yeah, no. But still, it's rather difficult to fathom the killer's motives. What reason is there to go through that much trouble to protect you? The torches were lit and right. blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, well. Mm -hmm. Anything that seems uh, suspicious around that? Uh... I'll give you a hint, there is. There, I know there <laughs> is. I don't, but I wish we had a, like, a statement from 
good doll that was just like, I will protect you. <laughs> In song. <laughs> it's like those cards that you open up for her. Is everybody her wear a card for a fight? <laughs> yeah, like those like birthday yeah. cards, but instead you open it up and it's just good doll like, I will protect you. <laughs> I want one that you open it and it plays good theme song. It's and like, it's your birthday, drink some coffee, chap. <laughs> chap? <laughs> um, that's the, well, that's the U- European version. The European version of Have Phoenix some coffee, White. kitten. Have some coffee, kitten. It's like a cat drinking coffee. <laughs> uh, I think it was for my sake. Da, da, da. Uh, da, da, da. da, da, da. Well, I can't think of anything crazy that would be like do we have to present Godot's profile again and be like let's have an example he that doesn't contradict the testimony who knows this thing okay um do, 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 do. he didn't clean up the That must mean that Godot was the one who rocketed at least Donum's dead corpse across. It's called a pendulum. <laughs> it wasn't a cannon. That's <laughs> 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 still what I think of. No. It's like her crashing onto like the temple or Larry's hut. <laughs> it's like Pizza Hut, but worse <laughs> and dirtier. But way worse. <laughs> Larry, Larry's, hut, Larry's hut just has pizza rolls from the store. <laughs> no, it just has half rotten potatoes. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> and samurai dogs. And samurai dogs. Um, maybe it's the dagger that he didn't have cleaned up. Because it was in the But pine it's not tree. the victim's blood. But. So that doesn't. He didn't clean up everything. He didn't clean I mean, up that's... what happened. That's true. That's dumb. He didn't clean it up, so therefore that should have been a part of it. He also but that, but that doesn't implicate up. Maya in any way. That's true. He also uh, forgot to clean up the talisman. No, but that wasn't hers. Oh, he forgot to scrub off the blood, and then he scrubbed it off later. That explains. No, that explains the entire conversation where he's like, "I can't see the writing on that thing." Wait, I can't see it because of my eyes. I'm like, no. Now that makes way more sense. The body of Elise Dona was carried all the way to Hazakura Temple's courtyard. Then at the garden, the real scene of the crime, the snow that we suspect was covered in blood was scooped up and removed. It's reasonable to believe all of this was done in an attempt to hide the true crime scene. However, there's still one matter that still seems somewhat odd. Oh, and what would that be? You must have figured it out by now, Mr. Godot. It's the message written in blood on the lantern. It was written very very clearly on the white stone lantern. Maya. Uh. If the killer was so motivated to protect Maya from suspicion, then why didn't he wipe out the writing off the lantern? Oh, you're right! Because Godot's... Despite the fact Godot can Order, see order, the order! But, Mr. Wright, isn't it a fact that the killer was trying to cover, cover up the crime scene? Indeed, but it doesn't make much sense to move the body and remove the bloody snow, and then not wipe off the most incriminating fiend of all, the bloody writing. But if that's the case, do you have an explanation for the killer's mysterious behavior? Yeah, we actually do. I figured it out before you asked. Why would the killer move the body and remove all that snow, but then leave the bloody writing on the lantern? I seem to recall earlier you said something. I don't know what the killer's plan was, but it's a fact that the killer left the writing on the lantern. There must be a reason for it. Yeah. Well then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your opinion. Why did the killer leave the message written in blood on the lantern? Killer didn't notice it. It's obvious. Yep. <laughs> the killer let's do the dumb ones. There's only one reason, and it's easier to spot than Sister Bikini in a bikini. <laughs> it's because the killer is the one who wrote it. Huh? Th- this is more awkward than the time I boarded out Mr. Wellington loves large bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, Mr. Wright. Don't you remember the testimony of that rather pathetic vile woman? Oh, her again, no. I think... I think I was stabbed. Anyway, I suddenly lost consciousness. But before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. I had hoped it would cast suspicion on Maya. She just 
keeps coming Oh, out. yeah! She did say that, didn't she? Ha. You and Dahlia. I'm not sure which one of you is more pathetic. Bird ah! Birds of feather flock together. I've got to recall everything I've seen and heard up to this point. The answer's there somewhere. Yeah, it's easy. Well then, Mr. Wright, let's not be stupid this time. Oh, I will be stupid this time. There's only one reason. One as obvious as Jean Armstrong in a fall on the rear. What? Uh, <laughs> Please do not use that Never, as an analogy. If anyone again. sends me fan art of that, I will ban them so fast. No one even <laughs> from sends life. you a fan art. That's true. The killer was trying to pin the crime on Maya. I'm actually kind of grateful for that. You sure about that? Yeah. Huh? <gasps> um, Nick, I shouldn't have to be the one to tell you this, but if the killer had meant to put the blame on me, then why didn't the killer live, leave the crime scene as it was? Oh. Once again, you've been pointing that finger where it doesn't belong. Ah! What a penalty. What a prank. What a pal. What a friend. Yes. Prosecutor Godot, earlier in this trial, you gave me some good advice. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. Maybe you're not as dumb as I thought. The real killer wanted ah. to disguise the fact that a crime occurred there. If that's the case, they wouldn't have left the bloody writing on the stone lantern on purpose. Therefore, it must mean that they didn't notice it. But that doesn't make any sense! The torches were all lit and everything! There's no way any normal person would miss something as glaring as that! You're right! There is no way any normal person would. What? What are you trying to say, Mr. Wright? Mr. Godot is a robot. <laughs> There's only one person involved in this incident. Who isn't actually Who involved. could have missed seeing that bloody writing altogether. Larry. And who would that be? Larry. <laughs> well, who's the person that could have failed to notice that? Just blame it on Larry. <laughs> I think I'll leave some bloody writing when I die, too. I'll write, right, left. Huh? You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Is he telling me I need to leave the courtroom? Hey, Trite. You can play after the trial is over. I'm sure I'm, the, I'm on the right track. Just gotta think more carefully about all that's happened up to this point. It's pretty simple, because Godot has the visor. Mr. Godot, this is what you said yesterday. My eyesight is messed up pretty bad. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Like blood, which is unfortunate. You can't see everything? Is that correct, Mr. Godot? This lantern was submitted as evidence today. I would like the court to think back to the moment it was first presented. The. this lantern? There's something written on it. W why? It's written in blood! Huh. <laughs> Nonsense. This lantern? It's as clean as a whistle. Mr. Godot, just admit it. There are certain colors you can't see, correct? Oh, is he colorblind? You can't see red on a white background, can you? What was that? That's right. We went through this once before, during the poisoning case at Trabian. This is the apron the delightful Miss Bird was wearing at the time, and somehow spilled coffee on. Oh. There's something still bothering me, Mr. Godot. Why have you not explained the blood stain to the court? Blood stain? What blood stain would that be? Don't play games, prosecutor! The blood stains the blood colored stain that's smeared all over the apron! That's ridiculous! No one told me anything about a blood stain. Oh. That one shadowing. I just that one I just thought he was like being like dumb. playing dumb so that nobody What blood stain? There's no blood stain! <laughs> you could see the coffee on the white apron, but you couldn't see the ketchup. Because it was red. <laughs> it's strange. In a black and white photo, those letters would have appeared black to me. I wonder, why am I the only one who can't see them? S so then, Mr. Godot, are you admitting it? Nah. Are you admitting that you couldn't see the red lighting on the red writing on the lantern? I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm jet lagged. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's jet lagged. Hey, Gramps. Didn't you know? That's the reason why I don't drink red tea. Um, okay. 
See, what would have been even funnier is if he had, like, red highlights in his hair with the white, and he just didn't know they were in there. <laughs> like, what if the hairstylist was like, oh, this is gonna be amazing! <laughs> like, <laughs> and, like, styled his hair. And he's like, oh, it looks great! And then he doesn't realize that it has red highlights in it until later. Oh, that's amazing. I want that to be in the fan game. <laughs> yeah. I, I've got good ideas, guys. I wasn't sure about it until now, but I just can't believe it. Prosecutor Godot is the murderer. But there's no going back now. I finally figured out the truth. Which is kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. Mr. Godot, the defense at this time formally accuses you. You are the murderer of Miss Elise Donum, also known as Miss Misty Fay. Nobody kill anyone in the next 30 minutes. It's hard to believe this may be true, however. Once again, Mr. Wright has brought up a disquieting fact about you. Ha. <laughs> Coffee. Just make sure you don't fill out the indictment in red ink, Gramps. Come on, how does a little graffiti make me into the killer? Besides, it's not like it's my name that's written there. Um, uh, that would be. I'm certain that the killer wasn't able to see the color red. This is rich. Do go on, Troy. The answer is right there at the crime scene. In the snow. The snow? How so? Well, for example, why did the killer move all that snow? Your Honor, you said it yourself. If they wanted to hide the bloody snow, why not just take out just that area? Yes, why didn't they take just that area? Oh! Could it be? Yes, the killer couldn't see the red blood that had seeped into the snow. And so he had to remove all of the snow. He couldn't be sure of where the blood had landed, so he just removed the whole area. Objection. Isn't it more likely that the killer couldn't see the blood because it was dark? Not a chance. The torches were all lit. They would have been able to see fine. It seems... that once again this trial has taken an unexpected turn, to say the least. Can you explain this, Mr. Godot? Maya, how about you come over to our bench? Oh no, she's gonna have said hold it. Wait! Just wait a minute! Maya? W what is it, witness? Mr. Godot... Isn't the killer! After all, he didn't even come to the Inner Temple. Until two days after the murder took place. He didn't show up until after the old bridge got fixed up! Objection! Maya... You can't testify to something like that. Why? What do you mean? I mean, I'll look it, but I'm- ah! After the murder happened, you didn't even exist. She didn't? I'm afraid I don't follow. Are you senile, old man? We established this just a little while ago. After the murder, this witness was unconscious for a long time. Because of this- Because she was person. channeling Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, that's right. But please, Your Honor, let me add to my testimony! Nick, please listen to me. Maya, do you plan to cover for Godot no matter what the cost? If that's the case, the sister? then I've got no choice. Your Honor, let's hear her testimony. If it means we're going to hear the whole truth, I say we should not silence her. Great. Ha! Nicely done, trite. I'm just really paranoid about all the recording uh -huh. stuff. <laughs> I agree. Very well, let's hear the witness's testimony. Please tell us what happened at the Inner Temple after the murder. Yes, sir. After I woke up, I began channeling and my spirit left me, as it were. But that little girl was there at the Inner Temple, too! Yeah, Pearl. We already Her name is that. Pearl. Witness testimony after the incident. Pearly was also stuck in the Inner Temple side that night. The next morning, she looked around but couldn't find anyone. The next day, when the bridge was finally fixed, she was in the spare prep room. That's when Mr. Godot arrived at the Inner Temple for the first time. He found Pearly first, and cheered her right up. Hey Pearl, how about you come down to the stand and confirm this? Who is this Pearly? That's my little cousin, Pearl Fay. Hmm, so when did you hear about this? Oh, just a while ago, while I was in the medical office. I'm terribly sorry. But what you heard from someone else is simply not admissible as testimony. What? Come on! Pearly would never tell a lie! She's a way more honest person than I'll ever be! 
Real smart, <laughs> Maya. You always know the best things to say when you're under oath. <laughs> ha. The prosecution has no objection. We believe the witness. M Mr. Godot. Let's just move on to the cross-examination. If the defense has no objections. How about Pearl come down and testify? Th this is highly unusual, but... Well, Mr. Wright, this is par for the course for us. We've brought a parrot on the stand before. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this cross-examination started. Yeah! Will you take me to Funky Town? What? Curly was stuck on the entertainment side. You were just all into the rap tonight, aren't you? Yeah. So I where do why. you think Pearl slept that night? In the spare prep room next to the training hall, I guess. There's a rule that you can't enter the training hall during an accolade's training. But even so, why did she go to the inner temple in the first place? It seems that Pearls became very worried about Maya. She knew that the spiritual training I was about to undergo was very intense. Pearls was supposed to channel Dahlia Hawthorne, but she couldn't do it. That's why she headed to the Inner Temple. But we're gonna stop that. However, Dahlia Hawthorne was already there, possessing the body of Elise Donum. And the next morning, she looked around but couldn't find anybody. She searched the entire Inner Temple side end to end? Well, you see, Pearly gets really scared when she's alone. She's also a crazy fast runner. <laughs> yeah. And there weren't that many places to look. She says that she even went back and forth several times. The Inner Temple site has two structures, the training hall and a spare prep room. And there's also a storage shack, I think. Great. That's gonna be where Godot was hiding. Just be like, surprise! <laughs> surprise, lover bleeder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's about it. There was a storage shack, too? Pearls was looking for other people, right? Would she have really examined a storage shack all that carefully? Well, if it was me, that would be the first place I would investigate. Hmm. So that means it's possible that someone may have been hiding in the storage shack. Next day, the bridge was fixed in the prep room. Pearls didn't hear the sound of them working on the bridge. What do you mean? I was just wondering why she would stay in the prep room. If it was me, I'd at least go out and wait at the foot of the bridge. Oh, well, Pearly said she was sleeping at the time. She said she was so scared during the night that she couldn't sleep well and woke up a bunch of times. Poor little girl. All alone like that. She's alone anyway. Well, we know that she had at least one friend in the Sacred Cavern. Dahlia Hawthorne, who was busy battling with the Trick Lock. She couldn't let anyone see her, so she wouldn't have shown herself to Pearls. What happened after the trip bridge was finally fixed? One thing that kind of confuses me, and this might be a plot hole, when they put the trick lock on the door, is it on both sides of the door? So, like, um... because the door has two sides, obviously, and the lock has chains, so it would go over one side of the door, right? Yeah. That would mean if somebody put the lock on the outside of the door, whoever's in the Satan cavern can't possibly unlock it, because they're on the wrong side. Unless the trick locks, like, actually Maybe... do affect both sides. It could, be, you can't, it could you can't, be magic. It could also be, like, when you open it from the side that doesn't have the trick lock, it'll be like, whoosh, and it'll undo. It could be. If it's only on one side. Right, well, so we know Maya locked the... So this one works because Maya locked it from the inside and Dahlia was on the inside trying to break it. Right. But we also saw it on the outside, and we sent Iris to break it. So it, so it was on, on both, both sides. sides. Okay. okay, that's interesting. Sure. What happened after the bridge was finally fixed? That's when Mr. Godot arrived at the Inner Temple! So it was your first time on the Inner Temple side, Mr. Godot? Hmm. That's funny. Am I imagining things, or did the defense ask me a question? Mr. Wright, please save your questions for the witness. What you heard from someone else is simply not admissible as testimony. Those are your words, Your Honor. Touché, Mr. Wright. Oh well. What do you have to say, Mr. Godot? Yeah. Hot nights and even hotter coffee. Oh, I thought he was gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> That's <laughs> I what like, I what? always say. Hot <laughs> nights, hotter coffee, and even hotter, hotter babes. babes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it hadn't been for this case, I would have never visited here. A freezing cold temple in the mountains. I think I'll pass. 
What if it was well known for coffee? So he had never visited Hazakura Temple or the Inner Temple, huh? Ha! <laughs> you want to say something, Trite? In any case, I have to find a crack in Godot's armor. While I cross-examine Maya, that is. Very well, please go on with your testimony. After fixing the bridge, the policeman came over to the Inner Temple site, right? Yes, then Mr. Godot... Found Pearly first cheered her right up, really. Here's a he coffee. knows a, he knows a wow! funny knock knock joke. Can you imagine pearls on coffee? Hi, Mr. Dagger! No, that's making me think of like Twitchy. The, This is the Avatar State! Hey, somebody like he trolled me! I was thinking of the squirrel from Hoodwink. Oh. He, <laughs> he cheered her up? That's what Pearly said. She said he was a very nice older gentleman. Thank you for looking after my cousin, Mr. Godot. And here I was, thinking you were nothing more than a coffee addict. I take care of little kids. Ha! Cut it out. You're making me blush. This guy is really beginning to get on my nerves. In more ways than one. The truth is, there aren't that many places to look on the Inner Temple side. The policemen were all busy going over the garden with fine-toothed combs. So I decided to carry out an investigation in my own way. Godot style. I'm the same way. I like to hand down verdicts in my own way, judge style. Oh, I wonder if he hmm. interrogated. Maybe I should ask uh, some questions, Phoenix style. <laughs> Forget yeah, it. Cheering definitely. pearls up Godot's investigation. I think we should ask about his investigation. Yeah, obviously. How about it, Mr. Wright? Do you have anything to add? No, I give up. This whole Phoenix style thing, I mean. It seems this phrase has become overused, so I'm putting it into uh, to an end to it, judge style. Then let it go already! <laughs> There's only one thing of any importance here. Where was Godot when the murder was taking place? He must have already been at the Inner Temple when it happened. Otherwise, he couldn't have killed Elise Dono. I actually already forget Papa. which save state I used. <laughs> yep, seven. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you che cheered Pearls up? When I found that little girl, the first thing she asked about was her cousin, Maya Faye. Really? The bridge had burned down and she was huddled up in that tiny shack with no heat. Even though she must have had a truly terrifying night out there, she asked about you before she said a thing about herself. Pearly. I noticed that you weren't anywhere on the inner temple side, but I couldn't find it in me to tell her that. So I gave her my last cup. Yep. With milk and sugar to hide the bitterness of the harsh truth. Wow. Well, what a sweet story. <laughs> he had a thermos of coffee? Why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> There's only one thing of any importance here. Going back in time and asking about Godot's yep. investigation. You said that you conducted an investigation of your own. Did you find anything? It looks like my investigation went about as well as yours, Trite. After all, I did miss the bloody writing on the lantern. Well, I didn't miss it, so speak for yourself, goggles. The only odd thing I discovered was the beauty in the training hall. Beauty? Misty Fay, naturally. Clad in her stunning Japanese garb, surrounded by the humid well, there's aroma your... of Western tastes. I was tastes. about to say, there's your problem. She already gravely roasted her. <laughs> Western tastes? Could he just find a stranger way to describe gravy? So from there, you headed for the prep room? Wait a sec. What did Godot just say now? I think I just found his proverbial weak spot. There's only one thing of any importance here. You can't see brown on paper! <laughs> <laughs> you can't see brown on paper? How does that even make sense? No, because it's like, he could see the coffee stain on the apron, but he couldn't see the brown gravy on the scroll. No. <laughs> that doesn't make sense! <laughs> it's this game! It's vision based! <laughs> I know it is. It's color based. Color is determined by light <laughs> reflection. I know. That can get messed up. Materials. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm being. <laughs> okay. I know. You arrived at the Inner Temple for the first time. Objection. Yeah, that's easy. Mr. Godot, the first time you crossed Dusky Bridge and went into the Inner Temple was long before the murder took place. What? What did you? Why would you say that? Because he just made one fatal slip up. The hanging scroll in the training hall. Hanging scroll? But, Mr. Godot's right! The scroll shows a picture of my mother! Maya, I know you know who it is, but there's something you didn't know. By the time the bridge had been repaired two days after the murder, the hanging scroll in the training hall looked like this. What's that wonderfully delicious smell? 
The morning after the crime, someone covered it with gravy. Gravy? But why gravy, Nick? Because gravy was much more than a condiment to the culprit. Well, Mr. Godot, if you really hadn't seen the Hanging Scroll until after the murder, you wouldn't have had any way of knowing that it was Misty Fay. Aw, I wanted to see him slip up. Wait a minute, Nick! Yes? Maya, stop defending him. Take a look at the Hanging Scroll! Look, at the top! There's a crest there! Ah, that. It's the mark of the master, correct? Exactly! So if you know the meaning of the mark... Then you could guess that it was a picture of Misty Fay on there. It could be of Maya. True, but Mr. Godot described what was underneath like this. Clad in her stunning Japanese garb, surrounded by the hue and aroma of Western tastes. Oh. Yes, it's possible that he knew what the crest meant. However, he couldn't have known that she was wearing Japanese clothing. Mr. Godot, on the day of the murder, you were hiding at the Inner Temple long before the crime took place. There's just a million Cyclops that appear. <laughs> Can I ask you just one little thing, Trite? What is it? This whole theory of yours. It all rests on a certain assumption. That I knew beforehand that a crime was going to be committed. That's right! Otherwise there's no reason for him to sneak onto the crime scene. Of course Mr. Godot knew about the plan. Huh? W what did you say? Um, really? Is, is it really possible that another person knew of that plan? Um... It's probably something you forgot about. Yeah, it must be. I'm gonna look through everything after that. Mr. Wright, at this stage of the game, a mere guess is simply unacceptable, as is showing your attorney's badge for the 10,000th time. So, in the end, you were just bluffing, huh? Well, don't expect any sympathy cards from me, Trite. Don't get any sympathy But there's only one way he could have known about the crime. He doesn't even care about the coffee anymore. <laughs> I'll give you just one more chance. I wish that the anime would show- it, I don't know if it does. If it would show Phoenix Wright, like, screwing up all the evidence. <laughs> there's no way. There's no way, but it'd be really funny. My all-important badge shows I'm a defense attorney. Magatama. Magatama. Yeah, Occult Oh, cool. oh let me see that. No, it she looks S to the X C in that photo. No, for a sec I thought it would be like showing Godot in the background. <laughs> what? <laughs> Godot photo bomb that one. Yeah. Um. No, not the temple map. Not the hanging scroll. Elise, no. <laughs> the niche no. Denim. Iris, no. Weather data, no. No. The victim staff, no. 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 Yeah, let me see this. No. Nope. Definitely not. Uh, nope. That was worn by Elise Donum, so I don't think that would be a thing. Burnt letter. That's the only thing I could think of, was the burnt letter. This crime was actually planned over a year ago. Morgan Fay offered the plan for her daughter's future. And these instructions were hidden somewhere in Fay Manor for a year. However, by the time Little Pearls found these instructions... They had already been unsealed. Oh, I forgot about that. Unsealed? Yes. The killer had read these instructions long before Pearls ever found them. Then took pictures on their uh, iPhone. Yeah. And they're like... Ch -ch -ch -ch. That's how he knew the crime was going to take place at the Inner Temple. And you're saying this crafty killer is me? You bet I am. But you just said that the instructions were hidden. That's right! Mr. Godot couldn't have known where the instructions were hidden. If he really wanted to know, he had one great chance to find out. Yes, and when was that? During a visit. A visit? Morgan Fay told her daughter, Pearl, about where the instructions were hidden. During one of her visits to the detention center. That would be the only time for someone to have learned where they were hidden. Eve's dropping on a visit at the detention center? Yes, it could be arranged if you knew someone with easy access in and out of there. Like, for example, a prosecutor such as Mr. Godot. This is just ridiculous. Going on and on about all these things. Order, order, order! M Mr. Godot, you're under fire again! This murder could not have been carried out without prior knowledge. And you? You were the only one that could have acquired this information before the murder. 
He's definitely past 17 cups at this point. He's like, he's made my last cup. Humans are afraid of the dark. And yet, at the same time, we're fascinated and bewitched by it. Maybe that's why humans drink the darkness that is coffee. Okay, I just... Um, sorry for always asking, but what does that mean? <laughs> it means there's a reason for everything. Okay. According to your theory, the killer in this case eavesdropped on a conversation during a jail visit where he learned of a hidden plan for a crime. After discovering the plans, he hid in the inner temple and waited for the crime to occur. Then he ultimately took a person's life. Why would he do this? And he did all of that just to protect this witness. Oh, but that would make sense. Okay. That's right. If you're accusing me of this crime, I have to ask you, why would I do now this? Now I know why. This girl is nothing but a stranger to me. I've got no reason to go through that kind of trouble to protect her. I am what you see. I'm certainly not the type to rescue the damsel in distress. That would be funny if he was. Hmm. The killer's okay. behavior is certainly extreme, for lack of a better word. You, you know what it is? No, I know what it is. And then second, I'm trying to imagine, because he's going to jail at some point. The, I'm trying to imagine him in jail. It's like, Doe, are you okay? And he's like, I have the worst coffee headaches ever! Because <laughs> he can't drink, like, 17 cups a day, and so he's just, like, in agony. You know how they make, like, prison wine in the toilet? Well, that's- Godot makes, like, coffee <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> prison coffee. That's a thing?! Yes. I did not know that, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the sink and not the toilet. I was about to say! <laughs> I no, I feel like it's the toilet! <laughs> Where are you hearing this best? stuff?! The media. Okay. TV shows. Okay. What, what TV shows were you watching? It's Arrested Development. But that's not actually a uh, just Just various stuff. Okay. Even considering that the killer wanted to protect this witness's life, his behavior is still a little too unnatural. <laughs> However, you had a good reason, didn't you, Mr. Godot? Yeah, I know exactly what this is. An unshakable reason that you forced you to protect this witness at all costs. I knew it. You figured it out, haven't you, Nick? Maya, I guess you were doing your best to cover for Godot. Why would you want to cover for him? For the same reason, huh? It is kind of cool that in the game everything kind of connects back to the first case. But again, Absolutely. if you don't know this... That's why they give you the little recap. Sure. Okay, Trite. I'm all ears. Let's hear it. It's very simple. Maya Fey is a lot more than just a stranger to you. What's this? There's one person who lies at the very center of this whole story. And her death. One person that ties you and Maya Faye together yep, inextricably. And it's obvious, yep. There's a very good reason why Maya Faye's life is so precious to you. After all, she is Mia Faye's only sister. Mia Faye. You once worked alongside her. That was when you were a defense attorney. W wait a second here! Mr. Godot is... is a defense attorney? With your honor's piercing intellect, you must have figured it out by now. The real name of this man who calls himself Godot. His real name is... Diego Armando. Isn't that right? He's like, no. The last time someone called me by that name was over six years ago. Diego Armando. That name rings a bell. It should, Your Honor. All of this is related to a single case. A case in which a convict named Terry Falls killed himself. Mia Faye's first time in court. The tragic outcome left a deep wound in her heart. She knew that behind it all was a heartless, scheming demoness in disguise. But in the end, Mia couldn't tear off that disguise. Sure. However, there was one man who reached out to help her. Diego Armando, a senior defense lawyer at the office where Mia worked. It's my fault! It's all my fault that Mr. False killed himself! Mia, you can't cry yet. And then he breaks his mug, yeah. The only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. I was moved by her. 
The way she put all her faith in her clients. That pure sweetheart of hers. That's why I could never forgive Dahlia Hawthorne. Mia and I thoroughly investigated that fake kidnapping incident. Then one fateful day, Dahlia wanted to meet with me. It had been six months since the trial. We met in the courthouse cafeteria. How did you want to meet me? Ah, I just remembered. Six years ago, right here in this courthouse, you were poisoned. Even I didn't see it coming. Which is stupid, you should've. Dahlia Hoffman slipped some poison into my coffee. Some newspapers at the time called it a murder. But very little information about the case was released to the press. But you weren't dead at all. No official reports ever actually called it a murder. I was just in a deep, deep coma. I see. My body shut down, and my life became nothing but a long, deep sleep. That woman's poison did a real number in my central nervous system. I lost my sight, and all of my hair turned white due to the damage it caused. Oh, that explains a lot. That's terrible! Apparently, it was a miracle that I ever regained consciousness. Five years had passed since I drank that poison brew. So he was in a coma for five years? Mm hmm Okay. Then one morning, my eyes flew open from the smell of a doctor's <laughs> cup of coffee. Oh, that's kind of cool! For five years? You were asleep for five years? And the worst possible news was waiting for me. Oh. Oh, that's right. Mia Fey was dead. From the very moment I opened my eyes, I had already lost everything I thought I had. The woman I loved had been murdered, and the woman I loathed had been sentenced to death. The woman you loathed? The woman who had spiked my scalding hot coffee, Dahlia Hawthorne. But that's kind of cool that's why he likes coffee so much. I think that's great. <laughs> he liked it beforehand, though. But, but he likes it even more now, yeah. which I can kind of appreciate. Ha. Huh. Good old Mia. She didn't let me down. She got her revenge before she checked out. In the end, there wasn't anyone waiting for me when I woke up. That's so sad. For someone like me, for someone who had slept away their best days, yeah. there were only two reasons left to live. And it was for those two reasons that I decided to become a prosecutor. If I may ask, what were your two reasons to live? The first was you, trite. Huh? M me? If I hadn't drank that stupid poison, Mia Fey never would have died, much less the way she did. What are you talking about? You were the only one who was there to protect her. But you let her die. It was all your fault. You're still on this? Uh, it wasn't like that! I wanted to see for myself what kind of a man you really were. S so that's why you became a prosecutor? My other reason for living? She goes by the name of Maya Fey. Huh? You mean me? You were the only way I could make up for my sin of not saving Mia. You're taking this a little too hard. One year ago, when the Korean village incident was resolved, it was obvious that Morgan Fay was planning something. Whatever her evil plan was, I was determined to stop it. But how would he know that that's Morgan? How would he know who Morgan is? He, he, dated, not... he dated Mia. She's her aunt. Okay, I don't think they dated long enough that Mia Six brought- months. I don't think they dated long enough that Mia brought him to their But she house. could have told him. Oh, I have this psycho aunt that this wants is... to murder my sister. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> no, no Obviously, deal. when he woke up, he was like, what happened to Mia? Oh, shoot, like, what's up with, like, my all this stuff? And he would have found the case, especially if he's a prosecutor. He probably would have found the case, but I don't think he would have- I don't think he would have been able to deduce all of that, that Morgan was still planning something else in solitary confinement. This is like a Kung Fu Panda 1 <laughs> breakout all the, like, <laughs> type of thing here. <laughs> My role as a prosecutor put me in the perfect position to do something about her. That's how you overheard Pearl's m visit to Morgan at the visit detention center. Blech. So he was just there? I knew that the time was drawing near. Since I knew the plan, I thought I could foil it. What? My goal was to outwit the plan. I thought if I could do that, I could keep that girl from being caught up in it. Well, that's sweet of him. That makes sense. Here's the thing. How would he have known when they were going to be talking? Did he just happen to walk by and they're like, Okay, Morgan. Or the Morgan. Okay, Pearl. When you go to my house, it's inside so there this are always, pot. There are always guards there. And it's the, the security camera's recording it. Yeah, but he can't just get a hand on those tapes. That doesn't happen. If he's a prosecutor. Prosecutors have, like, 
ultimate authority over everything. No, they everything. don't. You can't Have just you get... seen Edgeworth's influence? Oh, don't worry. I chose the judge and the prosecutor for this case. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But Edgeworth is an icon. Godot, even Godot, like, people were like, we don't know who this guy is. He just marched in and he's like, all right, we got I mean, I <laughs> here's the espresso machine you guys wanted. <laughs> oh, okay, you're a prosecutor. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing with um, this whole case. Obviously, this isn't America, and this isn't Japan. This is a blend of the two, but still. Mm -hmm. How would he have been like, you, you can't just be like, I request this security footage from this time to this time, because you would have needed to know. You can't just be like, yeah, I want the Marty, security. Marty, he used inoculars. No, he did not. <laughs> wow. No, okay. But even then, like, you can't be like, I want a month's worth of footage and just sitting through it, like, <laughs> listening for infinity. No, this is. He, this there is are lots bit, of ways he could have done it, though. I think it's pretty weird. Maybe. I mean, well, it's, it's fine. If Pearls had known that the actual purpose of the plan was to kill Maya. She never would have helped out. Poor naive girls. Finally, the day of the plan was drawing near. I contacted both of my accomplices. Accomplices? Iris of Hazakura Temple and Misty Fay. I especially needed the help of Iris. How'd he contact Misty Fay? That's the other plot we'll, hole! We'll get to that. Okay. She was to take the fall in my backup plan in case we couldn't control Pearl Fay. But how did you contact my mother? She's been missing for almost 20 years. Officially, yes. What? What do you mean, officially? You've heard about it, haven't you? About the strong ties between the main family and the government. Now that you mention it, Bikini did say something to that, that effect. She said that the Master of Crane had great authority. Even without her official position, Misty Face still wielded great influence. The police have been keeping an eye on her movements all this time. That's how I was able to contact her. Again, because of my position as a prosecutor. That's ridiculous, but okay. So my mother is cooperating with you? Don't ever forget. No matter how far away from you she was, she never stopped thinking about you. She was always... That's why I knew she would do anything to protect you. If you want to know how strong her resolve to protect you was, look at her staff. Her staff? The one with the sword in it? The day the plan was to be carried out arrived soon enough. We met for the first time at Hazakura Temple. That's when your mother showed me her special staff. I realized it then, just how far she was willing to go. She was ready to use that sword to protect you from Morgan Fay if necessary. Yes? Even if it meant paying the ultimate price. Mother. That night, the night of the crime, there was just one way to stop Morgan's evil plan. You mean Pearls, don't you? We had to make sure she didn't channel Dahlia Hawthorne. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um, if you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read some books together. Wow, they really planned this out! <laughs> this is kind of nice. We thought we could prevent her from playing her part in Morgan's plan, but she never showed up. She was worried and followed me to the Inner Temple. That was the thing we were most afraid of, and that's why Misty Fay had to do the channeling herself. She channeled Dahlia Hawthorne into her own body. What? What do you mean? If she channeled the spirit first, then Pearls wouldn't be able to do it herself. As Master of Karain, Misty Face's power was supreme. So that's how it went down. I guess it's... She channeled Dahlia Hawthorne so that Pearl Fay wouldn't be able to. Uh, what? I think it's kind of nice, though, in a way that she channeled, because if you think about it, the minute that she died was when Dahlia, like, got mm -hmm. stabbed. Yep. So she wouldn't have actually felt the pain of dying, if you think about it. Right, she wouldn't. So basically, it was more just like, you lose consciousness and then you're dead. Which isn't- Right, and also this way, way, Pearl was kept out of danger as well. Right. What? But that's actually a the, decent way to die. Is this all. true? Oh yeah, painless death is great. My role in the plan was to make sure that no one was going to hurt my fate. That's why I hid myself at the inner temple. 
Just in case you needed to be saved from Dahlia Hawthorne. Which you needed to be. Godot. Anyway, that's all I'm going to admit to. Trite. Huh? There's no doubt about it. You're a great defense lawyer. But you're going to have to do the rest yourself. Nice. The background leading up to this incident has been laid bare. There's just one question remaining, Mr. Wright. Who killed the victim? We've been asking that the whole time! There are only two possible suspects right now. Maya Fey. And I'm sad to say, you, Mr. Godot. Pour me another cup of coffee. This is cup number 500. Well, Trite, if you're the real deal, then finish this thing once and for all. Show us beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can finish this on your own. No, Nick. Please don't. M Maya. I, I heard the whole thing. From my sister. In the medical office. That's why. That's why I have to protect Mr. D Godot. I can't do it. I can't testify against him. After all, he's the man who put his life on the line to protect Mia. And me too! Maya, I know that. Nick... But even so, it doesn't absolve him of his crime. Please, Maya, testify. Miss Fay, your testimony, please. This is the final testimony. Don't bother trying to hide anything, because I'll know. I want to hear the truth from your own lips. I understand. I'm sure you're right. I'm ready now, Nick. Alright, young lady. Tell us about the moments before you lost consciousness. What exactly happened at the time of the murder? 